Hi, this is Stacey Chilame, and today I want to talk about overcoming your fears and your worries. So how do you overcome your fears and worries? Many people, I'm going to say all people, actually experience fears and worries at certain parts of their life at all different levels because we're different people, so we handle things differently than one another. And some people's fears and worries are more intensified than others. And sometimes things t tend to get a little harder in life and we get, tend to go through obstacles. And then our fears and our worries intensify as we go through rough patches in our life. So let's understand awareness. Now, one thing in our mind, we have to realize that the past is the past. We can't take our fears and our worries from our past because those things have already happened. We can't change them. It happened. We just have to learn how to cope with them. Because if we take our fears and our worries from our past and we bring them in the present, then we're gonna start thinking, oh, well, what happens if this happens? And this might happen, or this could happen. And then we start to get worried even more and things start to intensify in our head and we start to even get more worry and more fears evolve. So we have to really take ourselves down a notch and focus on the present. Now, before I go any further, I had a friend one time and they came to me and they were talking to me about how they were having troubles with their finances and how their business was having trouble and they were worried about so many different things. And things they were worried about were not even things that have happened. They just took their present worries, they brought it into the, into their, into the future in their mind and they thought, what happens if this happens? And what happens if this happens? And then so many different things happened. Hey, Marianne. Hi, guys. Hey, hi, Rhett. And so he, they took so many things in the future and they start to think, what happens if this happens? What happens if this happens? And they got so worried about things that didn't even occur that they ended up getting insomnia. They ended up having actual problems, you know, they had mood swings, they were jumping at people, and overall, their health started to get affected. And, you know, because people don't realize, but 70% of illnesses are caused by stress and worries. And where does that stem from? Our fears and worries stem into anxiety, that stem into stress, that stem into illness. So let's go back a notch when I was talking about these, these, we take fears and worries from our past and we tend to bring them into the present. And then we start to intensify them by thinking about what could happen in the future. This might happen and that might happen, but we don't even know what the next day may bring. So we really need to focus on the present. And very simply, a lesson to be learned is as you're sitting here with me, all the, we the fears and worries you have. Right now, you could look at me and think to yourself, hey, I'm okay now. I'm all right at this present moment. And we need to just focus on the present. Don't focus on the past because it's already gone. We can't change those things. Those, those traumas, those events in our life that caused impacts in our life, we can't change them. It's the past is the past but we can learn how to cope with them. And now in the present, we have to learn on better in ourselves, becoming the ideal person that we want to become. And we can't, we can't waste time to think about what could happen because we don't know what can happen. And all you're doing is intensifying your worries and fears. Focus on the present. And right now, say to yourself, I'm all right now. I'm in the present moment and I am okay. And a lot of times what we can do is it really, it, it, go, it stems to learning how to focus and, and increase our concentration levels and to help in, increase our willpower.
So when we find ourselves starting to worry about things that even haven't happened in, in the future yet, take a notch back and think about the present moment. And I'm okay right now in the present moment. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, breathe in the good air, breathe out the toxins, slow your breathing down, relax yourself, focus on their concentration, concentration in the moment, and focus on the gratitude that we have for life. Think about all the things in life that are great and all the, th all the things you have gratitude for. And think about how things are good. You have certain people in your life you may love. You have certain things in your life that bring you joy. These are the things you have to focus on. And anytime you find yourself worrying and having fears about things that you can't control, stop yourself and think about the present moment and say to yourself, I'm okay now. It's okay to let your awareness go into the future as long as it's positive. Only focus on positive things. If you focus on the future, just focus on the positive things. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what could be and what might happen. Focus on positive things. And in the present, focus on gratitude. Focus on positive things, positive thoughts. Work on meditation to improve your concentration and your willpower. And focus on setting goals for yourself, short-term and long-term goals, to improve yourself as a person, to make yourself the ideal you. Where do you want to be in the future? Where do you want to be three months from now? Where do you want to be six months from now? What would you like to see yourself, your ideal person? Think about these things. Don't worry about things that are, go that are going to make you nervous and fearful and worry th and, and things that are going to make you worry. Focus on how you can improve yourself as a better person. Focus on the moment and then focus on positive things in the future that you could do to help you rise above the chaos, increase your energy and your courage to move forward in life. So when you move forward in life, you could become the ideal you, the person you always dreamt of becoming. And maybe you had low self-esteem or you just gave up and didn't think you could become that ideal person. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can. And today, I'm giving away my book, Empower Yourself. Don't let your conditions empower you. And this book will help you overcome your obstacles in life, whether it be worrying, whether it be fears in your life, whether it be stress, anxiety, an illness, whatever the case may be. If you go to coachstacy.com, coachstacychalemi.com slash free book, so that's coachstacychalemi.com slash free book. You'll get this book today. And this book will help you in simple steps, learn how to overcome the obstacles in your life, gain the courage to act on them, move and rise above the chaos and move forward in life. So you could become your ideal self, the person you always dreamt of becoming. Because who wants to go through life feeling like they're dragging their feet every day, worrying about things that they have no control of worrying about. We don't know what the future may bring. So let's focus on the moment and let's do things to better ourselves. I'd like to thank you so much for taking this moment with me. And if you have any questions whatsoever, DM me. I love answering questions. Come to my website, Stacy Chalemi, coachstacychalemi.com, and let me help you be the better person that you want to be. Because remember, anything is possible if you make it possible. 
Thanks so much.